And I remember, and that what impressed me about being at the shrine was that I remember growing up as a young man, spending a lot of time with my grandfather. He'd wake me up on an Anzac day really early in the morning, and that was really exciting to be woken up so early on a frosty morning, you know, in April and taken to the RSL where we'd have breakfast, might even have a little bit of rum, a sneaky little bit of rum in my coffee. And, uh, and then we'd march down Towers Terrace to the memorial and I'd listen to the last post. And even today now I hear the last post and it's one of the few things that really breaks a, bro man, a grown man. You know, it makes me cry. My kids always laugh at me and mock me when the, uh, the last post is played and I start blubbering in the corner. But um, the reality is my grandfather taught me a lesson about the importance it was for those young men and obviously the female nurses to stand up to the tyranny that was, you know, uh, Nazi Germany at that time. And he's fought against Rommel's tanks. He always had a real respect for Rommel, but they fought against him at Tobruk and it became the first defeat of the Axis powers by the Allies. And he stood up for something. And I, and, and I remember thinking, wow, that's a great story. But I thought, oh, well, that's good that someone's done that for us so that Australians may never have to stand up for themselves again because they stood up for us. But then I realised that's not how history works. History is still with us today. We're still repeating it. And now the call to arms is, I believe, for me to stand up for the Australian people on behalf of the Australian people, or at least those Australian people who believe what I'm saying now here today. So I just thought I'd take this time out to introduce you so you get to know a little bit more about myself. So you may think it's fit to install me and vote for me as your candidate in the Senate so we can stand up for constitutional rights, enshrined constitutional rights for the Australian people that we may never have to suffer this tyranny again. And even as I say it, we know it will never be not again because history will continue on. But now it's important to stand up for ourselves in this epoch so our children and our children's children, as I've said before, can enjoy the freedoms that um, I can see now I clearly took for granted.